we're gonna do a, we're gonna treat winter with a lip injection today. And one of the things that I like to do, and I actually just about everyone can benefit from a lip injection. It just depends on what you consider a lip injection. So a lot of people think about who's walking around with these ducky sausage lips. These lips that are just too full, abnormal, not pretty, just big. And bigger is not necessarily better. So the question when it comes to lips is about the shape. What makes a lip beautiful? And so when we really look at the architecture of the lip, we're looking at what's going on with the red lip, what's going on with this part here. That's not the only part of the lip. There's the whole white part of the lip as well. That's still part of our lip. So when we're only injecting the lip liner line, then we're unnaturally puffing out our lips. So if you're young, like Winter is, she'd just like a little extra shape. If you're older, what happens is your lips actually turn inward. So you've had fuller lips, you've aged, and now the lip, the body of the lip starts to turn inward. So we have to turn it back out. Um, one of the things that I also look at is what's called the philtrum. That's this area over here. And she has a very well-defined philtrum, so we may not need to do much in that area. But really treating this area helps bring the lip back out when it's turned in. Depending on the person is pretty much how I decide which product to use. Tight lip shaping and wants it to look extremely natural, I tend to opt for uh, Juvederm Ultra. If somebody wants a fluffier appearing lip, I tend to opt for Restful and Silk. So when I think about lip augmentation, I really think of it more in terms of lip shaping. where the artistry of injection really matters. You have to customize it to the patient to really bring out their natural lip and shape it in a way that perhaps is fuller, a little bit more voluptuous, but certainly natural. Now as you start to see in this area, you get these folds, that's sort of your earliest sign of aging. And so you can pick up the corner of the mouth. You're doing great. By just putting a little bit of filler. Okay, so I would say this is a beautiful introductory lip. Patients would like to go larger, I usually suggest that they do so in repetition and not all at once. This product, pretty much what we put in through this technique, is going to last.